Okay, so we've got a Premiere Pro opened and we've got our workspace set. Now let's bring some media in. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull a folder from off screen onto screen here. And here is where today, this very day, I shot some kind of video. And listen, it's not great video. My apologies for this. Uh, it's just me shooting it. And what I've done, I've shot some GoPro video here. If you look at this, it all says G-O-P-R. And these are just clips that I shot when I was walking around the South Park area of Charlotte. So you'll see them start to build here in the renders. This is just a Windows, a Windows window pulling this open. I mean, uh, I think I'm in Windows 7 here. Well, I'm going to go back. And I also have some... Video I shot with a D3200. These are all QuickTime movies. These other ones are MP4. This is QuickTime. I want you to see this. And then we have some shots that were shot. These are MTS files that were shot AVCHD with a Canon camcorder. Why have I pulled all this open? Well, so you can see that you can pull almost anything into Adobe Premiere Pro. So there are different ways you can import video. First of all, you can go uh, to an individual video like this 0000 and pull it into this hole, into the media area, and it should import it, and very well it did. It's an MTS file, as you see here. It's this AVCHD file. Don't worry about what that is, but you can see some, some data about the file right here. If you pull this back, you can see more data, or if you pull left or right here, you can see there's a whole bunch of data here, right, about your piece of video. It tells you really all about it what kind of audio it has, how big it is, and everything. So uh, let's pull this back over so it can be a little bit more manageable. But so there we go. I pulled one file in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete that file for now. I'll tell you why. I'm going to tab back over here to this. I just want you to see that you can, so th these MTS files, I can just pull the folder in here, right? And then it should drop a, a directory in, and inside that directory will be all four of those videos. Okay? Now... We have that. I'm going to close this back up. I don't want to pull more video in here. I'm going to I'm going to double click right in here, my left click, and see it pulls open the last place that I pulled from. I'm going to go back to here, and so maybe I want to instead of dragging it in, I'm just showing you different ways. You can click on the D3200 now this video and say import folder. That works just as well. And there you go. And I'll probably go back and go ahead and get the other the other video also, which is this Charlotte video here. So there's various different ways. Okay, let me hit cancel. And you could go file and say uh, import. I never use it this way. Let's see, like, oh, here you go, import. Control, or you do control I, it looks like too. So if I wanted to, I could just click in here, click in here somewhere and do a control I. And then I could go back and I get my Charlotte video that way and import the folder. So these are the various different ways. As, as with almost any Adobe program, there are multiple ways to do the same thing, okay? So what I want you to see here is that, is that Premiere Pro will pull almost any kind of video file in. Any standard video file, if it's an MPEG-2, or if it's a, you can even import files off of DVDs. You know, you have to pull them onto your, you have to kind of put them onto your hard drive first. It'll do the you know, video TS files or whatever they are. It'll do, uh, you know, just basically every single kind. The only thing I've never, that I've not been able to pull into Adobe Premiere Pro is some security cam shots that I've had to uh, uh, work with in the past, and I've had to go through a conversion program to get those to convert, but then ultimately I do bring them into Premiere Pro to edit because sometimes I help people with some security cam stuff. So is video all we can import? Well, no, there's also music and stuff you can, can import. So I'm gonna to go to another hard drive that I have here, this internal storage drive here. I've got all kinds of video and junk on here. I'm gonna to go to my Digital Juice uh, Stack Tracks catalogs. So I'm gonna pull in some video. I don't know, maybe we could pull in a cinematic here. And this has all kinds of, of uh, music in it. So I'm gonna pull in, I don't know, eight or 10 songs here that we might use as a soundtrack or something. I'm gonna say open, so I'm, I'm pulling in a bunch of them at once. Now you see they all came in here loose. I'm gonna, I can, I can get in here and I can click on this and say new bin, or I can right click and I can say new, new bin. And what the bin is, the bin is just a folder. It's not really a folder that exists anywhere except for inside Premiere Pro. So I can just highlight all these, drag them into that bin. Then they're all kind of, you know, put in the right place. Those two down here were kind of hanging off to the side. So now I've got music. I want to rename that bin. I just I think I just click on it and just say music. 
So music can go in here. Uh, how about a photo? Can we, you might, we might want to put a photo or something in here. I'm going to right click or left click again, actually, is what I've done. <clears throat> I'm going to go here. I'm going to look for a photo and see if I can find anything. Okay, here's some photos from my garden. Uh, same, the same garden that, I've, uh, <clears throat> that I'm going to use in some of the video here. So here's some earlier shots of my gardens. These are some JPEGs you can see as I hover over it. I'll go ahead and pull this one in and maybe this sunflower, this sunflower over here. Maybe this gorgeous rose, I call it. Might pull my dog Nico in. Let's get a separate shot of Nico, and it's a pretty rose, too. I'm going to say open. So I've just pulled in a bunch of JPEGs. You can pull in JPEGs and TIFFs and GIFs and uh, pings and all those various different Photoshop files, native Photoshop files, even with uh, uh, layers and all along. So I'm going to click a new bin again. I'm going to call these photos. Okay, so now we're going to put all of our photos in the bin as well, just to keep everything nice and neat, okay? So, folks, now we have imported some media. Let's move on to the next step.